In a previous episode, we worked with the rib command and we came up with alternatives to the rib command to give us the desired results we want. In this exercise, we're gonna be doing the same thing. In addition, we're gonna be creating a rib on two rounded edges. Let's get started. Let's create a new component. And let's create a sketch on the top plane. I'm gonna use the center diameter circle and add some dimensions. We're gonna use a two point rectangle. Make sure it starts and intersects with the line of the circle. We're gonna use the coincident command. Make sure that this point also intersects with the line of the circle as well. Let's dimension this side to be 35 millimeters. Let's make the distance from this point to the center point to be 75 millimeters. Although the sketch is fully defined, we want to make some modifications. Select the trim command. Let's trim this edge. It's no longer defined. However, we can fix that right away. From this point to the center point, we'll just go ahead and hit enter. And it's already dimensioned and fully defined. We're going to use the extrude command. We're going to extrude this previous profile we just created. We're going to extrude it about 10 millimeters. The sketch has now disappeared. We can bring it back though, because we want to use this profile again and extrude it. We want to make the direction two sides. We can remove the sketch. Let's create a sketch and put it on this face here. Let's use the line command. Start at the edge, and bring it over about 10 millimeters. Select this point again, drag and hold. until it locks into place. Let's go back and change this to 15 millimeters. Now, once again, let's continue by dragging it down. Bring this line over about 10 millimeters. We'll bring it up about 15 millimeters. Use the line command again, select this point, drag until we get an arc. And let's bring it down until it intersects the edge. And bring it back over. We want the points of these two arcs to intersect. So select the first one. Make sure we hit escape so we have nothing selected. Select coincident once again, select this point and the second point, and they're both locked into place. Finish the sketch. Let's use the extrude command. Direction is gonna be set to two sides. The top side we want to be five millimeters and the bottom side will make 15 millimeters. Make sure the operation is set to join and not cut. Once again, use the extrude command. Select this face here. And then select the bottom face so it'll cut through. And now it's set the way you want it. Let's create a sketch and put it on this face here. Make the diameter 25 millimeters. Let's finish the sketch. Select the extrude command once again. Select this top profile. Touch the bottom and it cuts right through. Select the back view. Create a sketch on the visible plane. Select the P key. 
Selection filter should be set to bodies. Select the frame. And now it projected the lines around it. Let's select the two point rectangle. Make sure it intersects the edge. Drag it out until it's about 35 millimeters. Hit the tab key. And we're gonna make the, the other side 30 millimeters. The distance from this point to this point, we wanna make 10 millimeters. Let's use the arc command for three point arc. Select this point and this point. And let's make sure we see the tangent symbols on both edges and it's set. Let's grab the center diameter circle. Set the diameter 16 millimeters and finish the sketch. Use the extrude command. Select this profile. Direction is going to be symmetric. Measurement is going to be whole length. We're going to make it 31 millimeters. Select the screw command once again. Select this back face. Extent type is going to be two object. Select the cylinder. Let's create a sketch. And let's put it on this top face. Once again, let's use a two point rectangle. We'll make the top 80 millimeters. We'll make the side five millimeters. We're gonna use the midpoint command. We're gonna select this edge here and select the center point. And now it's locked into place. We'll finish the sketch. Use the extrude command. And we can touch this bottom side here and it's gonna cut right through. However, we need to cut this as well. So let's go back to the extrude command and let's also select this profiles here. And now we're good to go. All right, now comes the rib which is gonna be a lot of fun. All right, I'm gonna show you the first example by using the rib command. Let's create a sketch. And let's go ahead and create a line. But before we do that, we have nothing to snap onto. So let's use the, the P key for project. Select this line and this line. And there you have it. Now we got some points to latch onto. So we're gonna use the line command, select this point and this point. Let's use the rib command, select that profile. And what do we have? Okay, let's reverse it. And as you see, it goes all the way to the back. So instead of extent type to next, let's set it to distance and let's drag it out. and touch the bottom plate here. All right. Now, as you can see, it doesn't look very appealing, which is the reason why in this case, you would not use the rib command. Let's back this up. Control Z to get rid of everything we just did. Okay. Well, I could have just dragged the timeline and just removed it. We're gonna create a sketch. We're gonna put it on this top face here. We're gonna use the two point rectangle. We're gonna make the length of this rectangle 30 millimeters. And we're gonna make the width of it 10 millimeters. We 
we're going to set the distance from this edge to the center point to be 18.5 millimeters. We're going to use the line command and make it a construction line. Drag it over. Next, we're going to use the symmetry command. We're going to select this edge here, this edge here, and the center point. And it's locked into place. We're going to go modify, split face. The faces we want to split is going to be this cylinder here and this round edge here. The splitting tool is going to be this profile here. Next, we're going to be using the loft command. Select this edge and that edge. And as you can see, that gives you a much better rib. In addition, it conforms to the edge of these objects. Well, once again, I hope you enjoyed this brief exercise. Stick around and I'll see you in the next video.